The Sims is about to drop the official gameplay trailer for the Horses Pack, which is really exciting because with this, we're gonna get a lot more information on what's actually coming to the game. They usually do two trailers for an expansion pack, and the first one is kind of like a highlight reel, announcing everything and teasing everything. And then the gameplay trailer is oftentimes a little bit weirder because it usually has a voiceover, and they're gonna explain a lot of the new details and new gameplay features to us. I've got the premiere ready, and oh my god, it is in fact starting right now. <laughs> I was gonna say it's starting at second, but the trailer is gonna come out in like two minutes. It's going to be a trot of fun. We can't even believe it. And the title just says galloping good times ahead, so there's not a lot of detail yet, but we'll see as soon as it starts. I felt like I couldn't really properly react to the first trailer last week because I was in a hotel for VidCon. So now that I'm actually back home, I feel like we can talk about this stuff better. I don't know why, but I always get so nervous before these trailers drop. I think there's just a lot of anticipation and hype surrounding it with like the countdown, and the chat's all excited, so it just makes me nervous. And we don't really know anything about this or what to expect. Like, we don't know how long it's gonna be. We don't know what they're gonna show, so I don't know. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <sighs> Deep breath. Oh. I'll admit it. My introduction to Chestnut Ridge was... What? I muted it by it accident! Oh, sorry. <laughs> but also how amazing it can be. Oh, Wexel. Come on. I'll show you the ropes. Oh, Community the plays a big part in life out here. Without oh my, my friend God. Sienna, who knows where I would have ended up. She's the horse trainer and owner of the equestrian center in town, where all the competitions like barrel racing and jumping take place. Whoa. Sage, my horse, is super friendly. Aww. She put up with all of my horsing around while I learned how to ride. Whoa. Some horses wouldn't have been as patient with a new rider. Once in a while, there are more aggressive or defiant horses. They're like people that way, with different personalities and traits. But the closer you are with a horse, the horse. Oh. easier it is to practice your skills. You'll see folks mounted up pretty okay, much clown. everywhere, going on long rides out in the park or through town. Horses need a lot of space too. When we got Sage, <gasps> we ended up redesigning our property to make space for her. What else are we so gonna do? I'm so excited about She's this part of the build family. mode. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Sometimes, I'll head over to my friend Umber's place to help out when the family members are all busy. Look oh, how baby. cute their foal is! She definitely inherited her mom's friendly <laughs> nature. If you do decide to adopt a horse, know that it takes work to meet all their needs and keep them happy. I can imagine. They need to be fed played with, brushed, trained, and cleaned up after too. Ew, look at the and poo. if you have other animals it's like poo. mini goats and sheep, well, it can be a lot all at once. Of course, you could always hire a ranch hand to I'm do that. I'm so excited! They're great at everything, from tending our nectar crops oh. to picking up manure. Just hit up a community board to hire one. Oh. You can also check out any horses up for sale or adoption while you're looking. That's how I rescued Sage. Aww. All that hard work really starts to feel good when you realize how far you've come. When I first started making nectar, whew, I wasn't great at it. I made a lot of messes and quite a few subpar batches. Ew. Now though, I make a profit selling all kinds of nectar. Ooh. Old Roberto Crinkletop even shared his secret recipe with me. Crinkletop? But I'll take that one to my grave and beyond. He's actually very nice, if a little odd. Sometimes he shows up to hit the dance floor, but no one oh my really God. knows where he lives. And I think he likes it that way. Whether they've so been he here for have generations, <laughs> or they're brand new like me. Everyone out here has an interesting story. Maybe it's time to start your story, too. Look at the new world! Okay, I don't care about this. Don't even show me this. I'm anti early bonus items. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. We have a lot to discuss about this. The first and most glaring thing to me, cause it just happened, the way that they describe stuff, like the, the secret townies, like this secret old guy who no one knows where he lives. Are you kidding? Now is such a bad time to be mowing. Are you serious? Oh. 
Okay. Well, anyway, this secret old guy, I assume it's like cottage living where there's a few townies like the mayor that doesn't have a house. They're just in the world. So they're like, oh, it's lore. No one knows where he lives, but really he just, they didn't build a house for him in the world. I think people are a little bit confused by the idea of a gameplay trailer. Like I think that when people describe gameplay, I think that they maybe were expecting the live stream based on what I've seen in the chat a little bit. There's a lot of like nothing new, that's all, but I, I thought that was interesting. I didn't think it was nothing new. Obviously, it's gonna have a lot of similar things to the other trailer. They're just gonna explain it a little bit more in detail. Did they give us an article link or anything? I assume it's probably not different than the previous one. Yeah, even on Twitter, they keep just linking back to this pre-order page. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll talk about this. I kind of want to watch it back muted and just pause on things that I think are interesting because I was so curious to see- Oh, the horse is walking through water. I didn't even notice that before. <laughs> see, it all happened so fast fast in the trailer. You have to watch it back to like really see everything. That's so cool. But I was really curious to see more of the animations for the horses and stuff because that's one of the things that, oh, first person camera. That's one of the things that I like so much about the fact that we're getting horses is it's really hard to make these things. Like horses are notoriously difficult to animate and The Sims 3 has so many cool and funny and just really impressive animations surrounding them. So I like to watch this and like look for that stuff. I'm kind of a nerd with those things. Behind my face, this sim is brushing a foal, I think. Also this baby, I'm pretty sure is in a horse onesie. I think it, cause I can see like ears and a mane. I think the baby is wearing a horse costume. At least I think it's a baby. Is that an infant or a toddler? I'm not, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not good enough at the size. I think it's an infant. They talk about this person a lot, this like horse trainer. So it's making me think that she's probably one of the new townies and I wouldn't be surprised if this sim the like main character of the trailer is also a new townie whoa so we can see them doing some of the jumps for the first time as well and obviously this sim is a lot better at riding than the other one that we were looking at look at all these awards that she has these are probably the new horse trophies I'm seeing some new furniture around the place too there's a cute new chair we got a new table some decorations this pretty plant we've got some sims doing more jumps over here they had that horse ball they were playing with I'm kind of staring at a lot of the new build items. Like we've got some new fences, new columns and spandrels, these pretty barn doors that we're getting. I saw those in the other trailer and I was very, very excited about them. So I'm looking forward to that. We've got the water trowel for the horses. This sim is doing the barrel racing thing. I don't really know enough about horses to like really know specific details <laughs> about like what they're doing and how good is she at it. Was the horse supposed to hit the barrel? Probably not. I'm seeing a couple different variants of the jumps too. Like like, I'm pretty sure that there's different heights. Like, I think that you can add probably an extra bar to right here. So there's just one bar right now, and then they could probably add to it to make it more and less difficult, depending on your horse's skills. Okay, yeah. See, <laughs> there's more bars here. I am obsessed with how this world looks. Like, these mountain, rock, whatever they are formations are so cool to me. One of my favorite animations in The Sims 3 was The Sims kind of failing to get on the horse. They would, like, get on backwards sometimes and fall off sometimes. So I'm hoping that this pack will have, s okay. <laughs> we'll have similar things. Look at her. She's gonna get thrown off the horse. Okay, no, it's lagging. So it's not gonna get thrown off the horse. Please, please. I'm trying to make a reaction video. Oh my God. I refresh and now it's back. Was I really only 41 seconds into the trailer? <laughs> Okay, I'm being quite slow watching this back, sorry. Although I like this, her getting thrown off is so funny. Everything about these mini goats and mini sheep excites me so much. I guarantee there's probably like no gameplay for them. I bet they're like the same as chickens from Cottage Living where they kind of just are there <laughs> and you can like get their eggs or milk them or whatever. But there's something so cute about them that I don't even care if they can't do anything. I just want to watch them like roll around and hop and stuff. Oh my God, wait, that horse had a flower crown. Look, oh, that's so cute. Okay. Okay, I love that. That's adorable. I need to pay more attention to the decorations or I mean accessories, not decorations, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Accessories. Clothing. I need to pay more attention to the clothing. Sorry. I think the horse just yelled at the mailman. Are you trying to bite the mailman? Sorry, do horses bite? I think it just snapped at you. I get it. I understand. He seemed mean. Okay, also these. Are these like horse leg warmers? Because I like them. This guy's kind of got, oh my god. I was gonna say he had a cool outfit and then I got clown jump scared. So this is them showing off that we can paint the horses. I assume it's gonna be the exact same as like all of the cats and dogs cast where you can like completely paint and customize everything. Thing. This is a very interesting horse. 
Um, I like how they match. That's cute. Behind my face over here, there's like a trailer, which first of all, looks too small for the horse. And second of all, we don't have cars. So if they added a trailer and we can't actually use it, I'm gonna laugh. I'm kind of looking around at some more of the items around here. I love this fence. This also looks like another column variant, which I think is different than the one that we saw before. So there's probably gonna be a couple new ones. We've got a cute new light. There's a kind of a cute like broom and mop set. The horses look so beautiful. Okay, this one's got a flower crown again. They showed this build back here in the other trailer, and I feel like, honestly, just based on the front of it alone, I think that might be one of my favorite builds I've ever seen in a Sims pack. It just looks so cool. There's like some really interesting, okay. Thank you. They like it too. I don't even know if you can hear that, but there's mowing. But there's like some really interesting panels or like beams happening that just, they look so amazing to me. Whoever built that, I think did an amazing job and I haven't even seen the whole thing yet. So we can see some more of the environment back here. I'm guessing that this world has a lot of really nice, like big open trail space to ride the horses on. I'm also seeing some new potential debug stuff. Like if these red flowers are in debug, it's over. I'm gonna use those so much. I really like these. We have some similar like low-lying blue flowers in the base game debug, but I like these red ones, so I hope that we have those. I'm guessing, or at least I'm hoping, this sign is probably in debug too, which I'm gonna use all the time. I need more sign stuff like that. We can see more of the downtown area, so it looks like this might be a real lot that you can visit. We can see some more of the downtown area. There's like a cute grill, there's some picnic tables, we got these hay bales. I'm wondering if this is one of the new community lots. Wait, go back, hold on. That horse has a tiny cowboy hat. That is big. <laughs> or I guess it's small, but I like it. This sim has a new hair, new earrings, new outfit. Also obsessed with this barn stuff they're showing. Hold on, look at this. They did this like tile by tile. So we can kind of see a bunch of the new stuff, but there's some really beautiful windows with shutters. We have these cute windows. I guess these are actually dormers probably. And we can see the new barn door inside the barn. Look at this. So it looks like the stable stuff or the stalls, I guess. They seem quite customizable because I've seen them outside and inside. Go back, I'm trying to look at stuff. Okay, the quality is fantastic. <laughs> but I like how they've got half of this barn for the horse and the other half has like some nectar making stuff. Do you think horses can fit in the short wall height? It looks like they probably can, and I guess they built it for that. In The Sims 3, if you wanted to make an indoor barn, it had to be two stories, because we didn't have like medium or tall wall height in The Sims 3, so if you wanted to make a barn that your Sims could actually go into with their horse, you had to put like a full two story, but like there wasn't a floor on the second floor, it was just open and really tall, otherwise the horses couldn't fit. So I like the idea of them going into a regular short wall height room. It seems like they can fit in there just fine. Oh, the horse is eating, that's so cute. Oh, here's the build I was talking about. Doesn't that look so cool? I'm loving this sign as well, like this ranch sign in front of it. We can see a horse and a baby back there. Oh, look at I want to play with the foals so bad. Baby animals are always so funny looking because they're so like, their legs are just awkwardly long and their feet are huge. I just, it's so cute. That's not like a dig at the Sims team. That's just like how babies are. Like puppies look like that too. In real life, at least. Puppies in the Sims are, are kind of like potato-like. They're just quite small and round, <laughs> which is cute. But these foals look really realistic. At least I think they do. I've never seen a baby horse in real life, but I like them. I think the Sim is trying to like scold the horse for being mean to her, which is kind of cute. You can see a whole bunch of the little goats over here too. Look at how adorable that is. Oh, that one's jumping. No, look at that. I'm not even watching the horses. I'm just watching the goats. Come on, look at that. And this one's blue. So it is kind of similar to cottage living in how there's like different colors of the tiny animals. I assume these are gonna function just like the chickens do where you can like buy some of them. Maybe they're tied to a coop or something. I don't know what a a sheep would live in because it's like a chicken sized sheep. So it's kind of throwing me off, but I bet there isn't a ton of gameplay. I really think they're just kind of cute in there, but I'm okay with that. Maybe they'll like help you with your crops or something kind of like how the chickens do because they could probably eat the, do, do they eat bugs? Maybe they eat the weeds. Maybe they eat the weeds. I can see that. And you can bottle feed them. Do you think that means they can't eat the weeds? I'm gonna need some more information on these guys. <laughs> also look at how nasty the poop is. We can see some of the variants of the wine or I guess the nectar as well 
This one looks like it's made out of apples. So they're all different colors. And this is the ranch hand. Okay, so this, it seems like you can hire them and they'll do everything. Like he was watering the crops. He's cleaning out this stall. I bet he probably feeds the animals and stuff too. Maybe he like brushes your horse. This is them making the nectar. When they make the nectar, it's very similar to The Sims 3 in the nectar making machine where they just step on it and then they can fall over and stuff. I love this. I just, I love The Sims 3. So anytime I see anything like The Sims 3, I, that that is for me. That's what I want. I want The Sims 3 2.0 basically. If you could give me everything from The Sims 3, but like Sims 4 graphics and better because it's 2023, I would be so happy. I'm so curious looking around. I like this sink. We've got a new kitchen counter set. I really like this sort of log cabin wall too. I think that this is telling us the different emotions that come maybe with the different wines. So strawberry makes you flirty, maybe grape makes you confident. I don't know what that is. <laughs> as far as The Sims is concerned, I don't know. But that makes sense to me. This is that old guy who seems to have a lot of lore involved around him. So we'll see more about that. Oh, it's a horse grave. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice that before. Yeah, these are fake graves, but this one and this one look like the actual horse graves. So I assume the horses can die just like regular pets can, only from old age. I wonder if there's like horse ambrosia to bring them back to life or like age down treats and stuff. I'm guessing it's quite similar to cats and dogs in that way. Oh, and this dancing is wild. Look at them go. <laughs> They're jumping so much. Oh, here's us shearing the sheep. I didn't notice that. And look at the baby playing with the ball. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Wait, go back, go back, go back, go back. I think this is the community lot then. We saw the front of that before, but look, it's got like a full glass roof. That's cool. I wonder if it's like a bar or like maybe that's the dance hall. I don't know. Okay, overall, I'm in a good mood. I think I'm really excited about this horse pack. I don't really know what I expected from this trailer, like feature list wise, because these things are kind of weird. So in these trailers, they're trying to show us like some big main flashy stuff that's gonna make us want to buy the pack. They're not gonna go through and list off every little thing that comes in it. They're trying to sell us what they think are the main selling points. And I think in their minds, they're just like, show them horses. They wanna see horses. So I think that's maybe why some people thought this was disappointing because we were hoping for like just more. Everybody always wants more. I get it. I'd like to see more too. But even based on trailers, it's hard to make a judgment call on whether or not a pack is gonna have a lot of stuff because they're not showing us everything. I'm serious. I think I'm becoming a horse girl. I think I've been a secret horse girl deep down my whole life and I just never knew. I wasn't a horse girl as a kid, but this is like taking me back to my childhood because I was obsessed with The Sims 3 pets. I loved horses in The Sims 3, but that was more when I was like 12. But watching this is making me feel like I'm back in middle school on my summer break playing with The Sims 3 all day and it feels like my laptop is gonna catch fire because it's so hot. I just miss those days and I'm really excited about this pack. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing with it. This whole thing is just so unexpected to me. I just didn't realize that I wanted horses. I didn't think we would ever get horses. Maybe that's why I'm so excited. I just feel kind of giddy about this. Giddy up, like horses. But I think it's making me more excited than some of the other things we've gotten for The Sims 4, just because with stuff like Seasons and University, we knew those were coming. Like, I didn't know when they were coming, but we all assumed we were gonna get those packs. This one, I really truly believed we would never get for The Sims 4. So anything I see from it is so surprising and fun and it's taking me back to when I was a kid and I just, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So obviously I'm gonna make a full review and a ton of videos playing with this pack when it comes out. I should be getting early access, so hopefully I can have a really comprehensive, good review up on the day the pack releases. So make sure you subscribe to my channel here on YouTube so you don't miss that. And obviously I'm gonna play with it a ton on my Twitch channel as well. In fact, I'm gonna be live on Twitch tonight playing Sims like all day. I'm planning on staying up until midnight waiting for the new Taylor Swift album to come out. So if you wanna hang out, I'll be live for ages. I'll link my Twitch channel down below. And I'm also gonna link my past reaction videos on horse stuff down below as well. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts. Are you excited about this? The chat that I was reading on the premiere is kind of throwing me because it seemed like people were kind of upset about the trailer. So am I like alone in, in feeling this way? Am I weird for being this excited about it? I don't know, let me know. And on that note, I'm gonna go. So thank you for watching and I will catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Think about how many rags to riches videos I can make with this. Sheep shearing, goat milk, the new nectar stuff, horse competitions. Stanley Humphrey is thriving. Although, I mean, the guy is gonna be busy, so maybe he's not thriving. <laughs>